Hi, today I'm going to give you guys a run through of Fraps. Now, if you don't already know what Fraps is, Fraps is a video recording software for in game footage such as StarCraft 2, World of Warcraft, or pretty well any game. It can also be used for capturing your desktop to do t tutorials for YouTube or for your blog. Um, the Fraps version I have is uh, the latest. I just purchased it September 16th, so. I want to kind of give you guys an update of, of what the new Fraps GUI looks like as well. Um, so there are, are three sections in this video. Um, I'm going to start off by covering issues people are having, you know, from what I've seen in YouTube comments. Um, as well, I want to cover why you should spend your $37 on Fraps and perhaps why you shouldn't spend $37 on Fraps, why it just might not be for you and what you're looking to, to do with the piece of software. Um, so I'm going to start off by going into their website. Um, so you can kind of see the members area, this sort of hidden area that you don't get until you spend your 37 bucks through your PayPal account or through your Visa account. Um, so once you get into this members area, you now have the option to download the registered setup. Um, so the setup files, I think they say 2.6 megs, and I think once you, you install it, it's still only about 3.6 megs, so very lightweight. Um, and I'm sure you've checked out all these other links up here, the home page that shows, you know, sort of what Fraps is about and the support, you know, some frequently asked questions. So I'm not going to go into that very much. What I do want to go into um, is right into the sort of issues people are having. So uh, one of the number one complaints I was seeing is, is, you know, people complain that their microphone volume is too low. Now, that might be your mic, but you know your mic will likely just affect the quality of the sound there are ways you can actually increase the volume um, one way is if you go into your system settings um, so let's go into control panel hardware and sound uh, now we're going to jump over to manage audio devices and now under recording and you can kind of see my my speech here being displayed on the right um, next to the microphone um, so this shows that it's actually recognizing my speech um, so if you're having difficulties right off the bat and you just can't get any sound at all, you can try clicking this box, um, listen to device, and pressing apply, and, and talking to your mic. And if you don't hear yourself back, then that's that's a good sign that your your mic's not properly connected, or pr perhaps maybe not the right drivers, or something of that nature. Now, if it's just the volume, you can move over to the next tab and increase your volume. I have it set to 100, the max, because my mic isn't the greatest. And then there's an option to boost your microphone. So boosting the dBs will also increase the background noise or, or the white noise. So this can kind of be distracting um, when somebody's listening to your video. So it's it's nice not to have to increase that too much, but in my case I had to. Now that's still not enough. A lot of these video editing software such as Virtual Dub offer the option to increase the volume even more. So you under full, full processing mode, move to the volume. You can actually adjust the volume another 30 dBs up. So that's 60 dBs total on top of the base that your system offers. So that should be plenty. Um, now, if the issue is that your game volume is just too loud in comparison to your microphone volume, then you can go under the mixer. Now, if I actually open up the volume mixer here. You can see Fraps is listed and so is your game such as StarCraft. So if you find that the game's too loud you can drop that down. If you find your mic's too loud you can drop the Fraps one down. Um, so those are some other options for your for your volume settings. So I think that's enough on that topic. Um, another issue somebody was mentioning was that um, when they hit F9 it just doesn't work and this is actually something I bumped into when I first uh, installed the tool and opened it up you know I went to the movie section and said F9 to capture so I sat here in my desktop and hit F9 and nothing happened um, so none of these AVI files were produced while video recording um, but I noticed that when I went straight into StarCraft and I hit F9 it worked so I left StarCraft went back to my desktop tried again it just still didn't work and then I notice underneath the general tab they have this option to monitor aero desktop um, or DWM I don't even know if I said that right but if you check this box then you can capture your desktop which is important to people who who want to do tutorial videos such as this one um, so that covers why F9 perhaps might not work for you 
Um, how can you improve performance? Um, this is something I saw in a YouTube post, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show it again here. So if you go into your task manager, um, in Windows 7 you'll have to hit this button at the bottom that says show processes for all users. It basically gives you admin privileges. Otherwise you won't be able to to, to do this. Um, so if you go into Fraps and you right click and you go set affinity. Now set affinity allows you to choose the CPUs that this process will run on. So Fraps, perhaps you know you're gonna have to play around with this, but perhaps you want to run Fraps on perhaps the first two CPUs and run your game on the other six CPUs. Um, so that that could help improve performance, as well. Saving your Fraps files, uh, your movies to a different directory other than the directory that your game is running on is also a great idea. Um, if you think like a 10 minute uh, in-game capture uh, could be about you know 40 to 50 gigs. If you're continuously writing all that data to your to the same hard drive that you're running the game on, you're, you could run into some issues. So that might help you as well. So I've kind of given a little bit of a demo of the GUI, but let's just run through this um, very quickly. So these options here give you um, the option to whether to display fraps. Um, as a higher priority to other applications, so do you want to do you want to hide it if you open up another application, or, or do you want it to to be minimized all the time? Um, this the fourth one here we've already covered. Um, now if we move over to the FPS tab, this is uh, more or less a benchmarking tool. So I use this to benchmark Crisis. Um, so I have a three monitor setup. Um, so I can run ATI Affinity and I want to know well in my Affinity setup how much poor is the performance compared to just running off one monitor so I selected all three of these boxes um, I ran Crisis for one minute um, and it saves it as a CSV file so a comma separated value file so once that one CSV file was generated I disabled my Affinity setup down to one monitor generate another CSV file pulled both those CSV files into Excel, did some averages, and I was able to determine how much performance I was losing by running three monitors versus running one monitor in a game. So that's sort of what this benchmarking tool can be used for. Um, as well, there's an option to display and overlay of your frames per second um, in, a, in either one of the corners. Um, you can enable this during gameplay if you're running to some issues. Perhaps your frame rate's dropping below 30 frames per second and you're, and you're having some issues. So let's move over to the next tab, movies. Now this is the most important one in, in my belief. Um, so you have the option of where to store your, your movies. Um, the Capture Hockey F9 is, is the default. Um, your frames per second, most people are using 30 frames per second. If your system can support it, use full size. Um, record Win 7 sounds. So this is to record your, your, your system sounds, um, so your game sounds, etc. Um, the box below is to record external inputs, so your mic. So this allows you to talk while recording the game. So say you're you're playing a StarCraft game and you want to record your voice while you're playing to kind of get that sort of uh, real game footage. Um, so that's useful, as well as doing tutorials like I'm I'm doing right now. Now screenshots, similar sort of thing to what Windows 7 already offers, um, except for you have the option as to choose the image format and also this option to take multiple screenshots in a row. So we'll now going to the second topic of this video which is why should you spend your $37 on Fraps? Pretty well you're buying Fraps because of its reputation for capturing in-game footage which will likely be what Hypercam and Cam Studio have to offer. It's also relatively inexpensive compared to Camtasia and it beats the demo version which only allows you to record 30 seconds at a time and has a watermark. Now Fraps might not be for you because it doesn't offer edi any editing functionality. Um, if you want to crop certain sections of your video, it doesn't offer that. As well, it doesn't allow you to record only a certain area of your desktop at a time, which might add more editing in the future. So that pretty well covers what I wanted to get through in this video. So if you found anything useful, please like the video, subscribe, and uh, check out my Twitter page. In the next video, I plan to cover how to edit these video files created by Fraps using something like Windows Live Me Movie Maker or Virtual Dub and then finally get your videos posted on YouTube.